Now that the controller is mounted, let us understand the connection diagram. The SLD or the single line diagram can be found behind the controller unit. For the supply voltage, connect line and neutral and the voltage should be 230 volts. For the measurement voltage, connect line and neutral and the voltage should be 230 volts. K and L that is measurement volt and measurement current. K and L should be from the same phase. In BR6000, earthing is very important. Here is the earthing connection. Earthing must be done to protect the unit from any damage. P1 is a common terminal for the steps and K1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the 6 terminals for 6 steps. If you are using a 440 volt supply that is L2 and L3 at the measuring voltage terminal of the relay, then make sure that the CT is in L1 phase and not in the L2 and L3. After confirming the connection shown in connection diagram, if the phase sequence and CT positioning is OK, at sufficient load, relay starts working and will switch on bank number 1 as per the requirement and feed reactive power to the load and improve the power factor. Once the prerequisites are satisfied, you are ready to install the BR6000 and make it functional. Now all the connections are in place. So let's power up the device to start the programming procedure. And now our unit is ready for programming. Start by pressing the auto or program or manual or service mode button. Programming will display. Press enter or OK to proceed with programming. The language is set to English by default. Please do not change it unless necessary. Let's press enter or OK to set English as the language of operation. A CT primary ratio needs to be selected. Use the up or down buttons to set the value. Once the desired CT primary is selected, press enter or OK to store that value. Select the load CT secondary current by pressing up or down buttons. Let's change it for 1000 by 1 ampere. Press enter or OK to set the value. Set the number of steps by pressing up or down buttons. Here we have 6 steps. Press enter or OK to set the value. For control series, if there are 6 steps of 25, 25, 50, 50, 100, 100, then the minimum step rating would be 25, that is 1. Thus, 50 kVAR would be 2 and 100 kVAR would be 4. Hence, setting would be 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4 for this example. Here control series is showing 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which means each step is of 25 kVAR. Press enter or OK. The control mode is set to intelligent by default. Press enter or OK. Select the first step minimum kVAR rating by pressing the up or down buttons. In our case, it is 25 kVAR. Press enter or OK. Set the target cause phi to the desired limit by pressing the up or down buttons. Ideal target power factor should be 1.00. Press enter or OK. The measurement voltage is set to 230 volts by default. Press enter or OK. The V converter is set to no 
by default. Press enter or OK. Set the switching on time by pressing the up or down buttons. We'll set it to 30 seconds. Press enter or OK. The switching off time is set to 40 seconds by default. Press enter or OK. The discharge time is set to 60 seconds by default. Press enter or OK. The alarm temperature is set to 55 degrees Celsius. Press enter or OK. Set the harmonic setting to 7% by using the up or down buttons. Press enter or OK. Basic settings are factory settings. If you select yes, all the previous settings will be changed to default settings. Set the basic settings to no. Press enter or OK. Congratulations, we have completed the programming of our BR6000. Let us understand how to rectify the undercurrent error. First, you must check if the CT ratio is correct. Go to the programming mode and check CT primary and CT secondary setting. The ratio is correct. We still see the undercurrent error. Check with clamp meter if current is flowing through CT cable. If current is not showing, there is a problem in the CT or connection. Second, check if the load CT has the same ratio as mentioned in the controller. If not, make the changes in controller setting for the CT primary and secondary ratio. Controller setting of CT ratio should match the CT ratio. Third, check if load CT is short-circuited. Continuity in S1 and S2 terminal connection on CT and on controller CT terminal K and L. Finally, check if the placement of CT is correct. Let us know how to rectify the overcurrent error. First, you must check if the CT ratio is correct. Check with clamp meter if current is flowing through CT cable. If current is not showing, there is a problem in the CT or connection. Go to the programming mode and check CT primary and CT secondary setting. Rectify incorrect CT ratio. Second, check if the incoming CT has the same ratio as mentioned in the controller. If not, make the changes in controller setting for the CT primary and secondary ratio. Controller setting of CT ratio should match the CT ratio. Let us understand how to rectify the undercompensated error. First, check if all the banks are in auto mode. Second, check if the relay output is working. Third, check the individual current for each capacitor. Check connection and phase position. Voltage and current should be from same phase. Wrong CT location. Let us understand how to rectify the overcompensated error. First, go to the programming mode and check control series 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and minimum KVR is 10 KVR, then the step becomes 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30. But in actual, the capacitor bank steps are 10, 10, 
20, 20, 40, 40. And when there is a requirement of 40 kVr, it will start first and then the fifth step. In actual, it switches 10 and 40 kVr, which is 50 kVr. Thus, will show the system as overcompensated. Hence, correct control series to 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4 instead of 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 in control setting. Second, go to the programming mode, press enter and check if active power shows negative. If it is showing negative, change CT polarity. Improper phase shift or phase angle. Let us understand how to rectify the under voltage error. First, check the measurement voltage. It is correct at 230 volts. Second, check the measurement voltage using a multimeter. Third, check if the controller MCB is on or off. If the MCB has tripped, under voltage error will be shown. Let us understand how to rectify the over voltage error. First, check the measurement voltage. It is correct at 230 volts. Second, check the measurement voltage using a multimeter. Third, check if the measured voltage and program fed voltage in measured voltage section is 230 volts. Let us understand how to rectify the no display error. First, MCB must be on or off. Second, supply voltage must be 230 volts. Third, check if the connectors are properly tightened. If all the above three are okay, then the controller might be defective. 